output of the Thermotech power supply in voltage and current. Right now it's showing 2 milliamps and 431 millivolts because the uh, techs are actually generating electricity from the temperature differential that uh, already exists in the tax so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power now and it takes a minute or two for the tax to then warm up but we're seeing 14 no no one point yeah oh, there we go jumping all over the place one day there we go 30 volts Ready? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Shit. Doesn't know what it is. We'll go over here, it's uh, eight hundred, six hundred milliamps. Voltage voltage and the current monitors. Right now it's set for thirty degrees Celsius because that's its regular default. We'll go ahead and turn it to turn it to 23 degrees. And we'll now see the fluctuations uh, from the power supply going to the tech. Uh, let's see, right now we're at uh, basically no volts. 21 milliamps. And in a second here, it will start to cool down the text. Not yet. There it goes. Voltage jumping all over the place. Looks to be under 20 volts. 16 right now. Go over here. We're at 400 and 300 milliamps. 500. It seems to touch the text with some current and then slowly ramps it up a little bit and then turns it back down based on the. Uh, output from the built-in thermistor on the uh, heat exchanger. It's at 600. Back down to 4, 7, now 5. Never seems to go over an amp though. I've seen it as high as 800 milliamps. Voltage turning on and off. And if we look here now, it is at 23 Celsius, so that's probably about right. And every once in a while, it puts a little extra in there to keep it stabilized at that temperature. And uh, that's it.